Shabbat Shalom, family and Messiah Yeshua. Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael. Come back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, starting at verse 31. I'll be reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, starting at verse 31. And I read, Behold, the day is come, says Yahweh. That I will make a renewed covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Jacob. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. With my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, says Yahweh. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, says Yahweh, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and will be their heir, and they shall be my people. I read that to say, read that to say this: the renewed covenant, the renewed covenant was established when Yeshua suffered died on the cross and was raised again the third day by Yahweh our Abba and exalted above all heavens. So when you when we believe on Yeshua HaMashiach when we believe on Yeshua HaMashiach we renew the covenant with Yahweh. We renew the covenant with Yahweh when we believe on Yeshua HaMashiach. To believe on Yeshua HaMashiach, as I forestated, is to obey his teachings and to imitate his lifestyle. And Yeshua HaMashiach taught us to repent, <clears throat> to be baptized in his name for the pardon of one's sins and for the regeneration of one's soul and to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits you to speak. So, in order to renew the covenant with Yahweh, you we must believe you we must believe on Yahweh's means of reconciliation, Yeshua of Nazareth. And John three sixteen. In John three sixteen. For Yahweh so loved the world. Uh, for for Yahweh so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Why? Because Yeshua of Nazareth is he always means to be reconciled unto himself. And once reconciled unto Yahweh, you become pre-qualified for eternal life. But to believe on Yeshua HaMashiach is to obey Yeshua's teachings. And Yeshua taught the new birth because in Adam, we inherited a corrupt nature, a nature that was and is separated from Yahweh, and a spirit that is not is di 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 disconnected from Yahweh. For that cause, in Yeshua HaMashiach, or Jesus Christ, we become reconciled unto Yahweh we become 
one with Yahweh by virtue of the new birth that gives us the renewed man. So to believe on Yeshua HaMashiach is to repent of one's sins. And to be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. The purpose of water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, as I forestated, is for the pardon of your sins. Both the inherited sin, the inherited nature <clears throat> from Adam, and the acts of sin one commits throughout their lifestyle, lifetime. And is for the regeneration of one's soul. The water baptism in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach is the perfect complement to the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ quickens us to Yahweh. It makes us alive to Yahweh. But the baptism of the Holy Spirit joins us or seals us unto Yahweh where we're able to commune with Yahweh. We're able to walk with Yahweh. So you must be born again as stated in John 3, 3. Very, very, I say to you, except the man is born again. He cannot understand the kingdom of Yahweh. Then he clarified in verse 5, very, very, I send you, except a man is born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. So the prequalification, the initiation to walking with Yahweh is the new birth. The initiation, the prequalification to walk with Yahweh is the new birth. And the new birth is the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ plus the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits one to speak. You must be born again, fam. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ that your sins may be pardoned. May and you may be regenerated. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit that you may be sealed unto Yahweh. And the initial and external proof that one has received the seal of Yahweh or the baptism of the Holy Spirit is speaking in another language and Yahweh permits you to speak. You must be born again. Because in order to renew the covenant, you got to believe on Yeshua. And to believe on Yeshua is to be born again. Because Yeshua, who is the means to be reconciled to the Father of lights, who is Yahweh, you is to take on the nature and the spirit of Yeshua HaMashiach, the nature and the spirit of the second Adam. And you do that by being born again. You must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach for the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul. You must seek Yahweh sincerely without doubting for his precious gift of the Holy Spirit. And you will know you've been filled with the Holy Spirit baptism when you hear yourself speak in another tongue. Has Yahweh permit you to speak in order to overcome the old man, the dark traveler, the flesh? You must be born again according to Acts 2.38 in order to survive the coming judgment that will befall the United States of America. You must be born again according to Acts 2.38 in order to overcome the will of the world, in order to overcome the will of Satan, you must be born again according to Acts 2.38.
you must repent of your sins. You must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sins and for the regeneration of your soul. You must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permit you to speak. You must walk with Yahweh in order to walk with Yahweh in spirit and truth. You must be born again according to the scriptures. And the scriptures instructs us repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And there's only one initial and external proof that one has received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and that's speaking in another tongue, and y'all have permission to speak. As it is written in Mark chapter 16. Mark 16 and verse 16. He that believes and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name, shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any daily thing, it shall not hurt them. And they shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. So, if you believe, in order to receive the Holy Spirit, which y'all will give to those who obey Him, you must believe. The Scripture says, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh. So, faith, as well as repentance, come from Yahweh. So, when you hear this message, this message of faith. You do not resist this message in your heart. Do not doubt that Yahweh is true to what he says and faithful in what he does and is fully capable of filling you with the Holy Spirit. All it requires you to do is submit your heart to Yahweh. Submit your whole heart to Yahweh without doubting. Expecting Yahweh to fill you with this Holy Spirit. And if you are on line with Yahweh in full, true, pure faith, he will fill you. And you will know you've been filled when you hear him speak in another tongue, another language, as Yahweh permits you to speak. When you receive the Holy Spirit baptism, you become sealed unto Yahweh. That's the initial infilling. Then you must seek Yahweh continually for the renewing of the Holy Spirit. Because you got to renew the Holy Spirit. To signify that you're still joined to him. That he's still sealed to him. Family, this is what, 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 you, what, what we all must have. I got it, February 18, 2000, February 18, 2001, the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of my sins and the regeneration of my soul. You must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. You must be baptized in water in order to get your sin pardoned, in order to be regenerated. You must be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're not baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, you're still unforgiven. And you're still dead in trespasses and sins. For that cause. You're still walking according to the way and the will of the old man. The dark traveler. And this is the life of the dark traveler. 
Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5, verse, 5, verse 19. Now the works of the dark traveler, now the works of the old man, now the works of the carnal man, now the works of the flesh are revealed. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, enemies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told in time past, that they would do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. So according to Galatians 5, verse 19 through 21, that's the life of the old man. And if you're not born again, according to Acts 38, you still are of that old man. You're still of Adam. And if you're of Adam, you're not reconciled with Yahweh. You're not sealed to Yahweh. Therefore, you're belong to Yahweh. And it will be extremely difficult to keep the word of Yahweh, the God that faithfully. Because in order to obey the word of Yahweh with the spiritual, you must be of the spirit of Yahweh. To be of the spirit of Yahweh, you got to be born again. To be born again, you got to repent of your sin. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of your sin and for the regeneration of your soul. And you must receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as evident by speaking in another tongue and Yahweh permits you to speak. Now, contrast the old man lifestyle with the life of the renewed man. Galatians 5, 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, shalom, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, tempest against us. There is no law. There is no restriction. So the life of the renewed man will produce the character of Yahweh. There's one fruit to Yahweh's character, but it has nine characteristics. And those characteristics are as named love, joy, Shalom, long suffering, guiltiness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against us. There's no restriction. So I pray that whosoever will, let you let them come. For only for no one can come to Yahweh except Yahweh draw you. Whoso is drawn to this message, I pray Yahweh, you allow your word to fulfill in them your will, whether to convert or whether to grant it a witness of damnation unto the lake of fire. I pray, Yahweh, let your name be exalted. I pray, Yahweh, let the name of your son, your means of reconciliation, you sure not be, you sure not be exalted. All praise, honor, and glory goes to you, Abba Yahweh. I thank you. Thank you for keeping me in my right mind. Thank you for allowing me another opportunity to speak forth your word of truth. Thank you for your provision. In the name of your beloved Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, so be it. So be it. Shalom.